guys, Mrs. S here. Tonight we're making meatloaf for dinner, so I thought I would share with you how I make my meatloaf, and it's pretty tasty. So we're going to start by showing you the ingredients. Okay, so my ingredients. I've got a bread loaf pan, some Pam spray, milk percentage of your choice, brown sugar, an egg, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, pepper, salt, parsley, Ritz crackers, tomato ketchup, and regular yellow mustard. Now, my meat that I'm using, I think this is a little over a pound. Um, it's a mix of sausage and hamburger that I found at Bueller's. Usually, I just use hamburger, but I thought, why not? We'll mix it up a little bit. So, I am going to turn all of these ingredients into the amount that they need with the magic of videoing. As promised, through the magic of video editing, I now have most of what I need in the capacity that I need it. Nice big bowl. I put my meat in there. Okay. Half a cup. Milk of your choice. One tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. One cup Ritz crackers mashed up with your hands. A nice big, that's really probably a full teaspoon, but you know, we like garlic in, I ha in my house, minced garlic. Egg. One tablespoon ketchup. It's going to be two tablespoons of ketchup because that's what it calls for. Two tablespoons ketchup. All right, and then I'm going to hand this over to my husband because I need two hands for the rest of the ingredients. Okay, now that I have a helping hand, decent dosage of pepper. Now, every meatloaf recipe I've ever seen calls for onions. Some of them even call for peppers. We don't like either of those things in my house, so that's not going in my meatloaf. But if you want to add onions or peppers, dice them up, throw them in there. Awesome. We're going to add a decent amount of parsley. I just eyeball this. A few shakes. And then I'm going to mix this up with my hands, guys. That's the only way to do it. Got to get in there and get dirty. So we just want it thoroughly mixed. It's going to be a little wet and soppy. That's all right. If you find any big pieces of cracker like I just did, just grab them and crush them up. Okay, and then I'm going to make a loaf out of this. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my loaf pan here. Um, I tend to try to not make them messy. Um, and the bottom of this sometimes can get a little bit messy once you put the glaze on. So tin foil, and then I've got olive oil spray pan. There we go. And then we're gonna make this loaf. I did wash my hands before I touched the pan because Raw meat is not something that you want to mess around with. It can make you sick. So we want good hand washing. And here we go. It's a lovely loaf. Now I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And we're going to put this in for about 45 minutes and then I'm going to see how it looks. And while we're doing that, I'll be right back and we'll make the awesome glaze for the top of it. Okay, time for the most important part, the glaze. Now, there are some people that put gravy on their meatloaf. Some people make a glaze that has um, ketchup and brown sugar and red wine vinegar. But since I was a kid, it has always been ketchup, brown sugar, and mustard. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, and I like quite a bit of glaze. I don't always necessarily use all my glaze. <laughs> 
Um, but this, this recipe that I'm using is going to make quite a bit of glaze, so if you're like me and you like a lot, you're going to have plenty. So we have two-thirds of a cup of ketchup. This Pampered Chef measuring cup is the best thing ever, by the way. You can do dry goods like this and then push them out like I just showed you. You can also do wet stuff inside the cup and then it just comes apart and you wash it. And it's amazing. Just saying. Okay, then a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of yellow mustard. I'm not too fancy snatchy with it. I'm not going to worry about getting it all out. And we whisk it all together. And then there's nothing wrong with just sticking your finger in this or sticking a spoon in it and tasting it, making sure that you like it. Some people like more ketchup, some people like more mustard, some people like it real sweet with more brown sugar. That is entirely up to you. Now I have, I set 45 minutes, like I said, for my oven. I'm going to see how it is when it comes out. Then we're going to put the glaze on it and put it in for another 15, maybe 20 minutes, see how it goes. So I will see you guys back here in about 38 minutes now. Okay, been 45 minutes. I just pulled this out of the oven. So let's see what our meat thermometer has to say here. Now 160 is what we're looking for. Anything over 160 degrees Fahrenheit is good. I'm hitting 174 and still climbing, so I am good to go with this. And I'm going to put my glaze on it. Actually, there's quite a bit of extra fat down in here. Um, I'm guessing because I put sausage in it this time. So I'm just going to dump a little bit of that out into a cup with a paper towel. Yeah, there's a lot of fat in there from that sausage. Take all of it out. I don't want the bottom of it to burn, but we'll get some of that out. And I'm going to put my glaze on it. And this just goes all over. And it is the best part. And I won't lie, sometimes I just shove my spoon down in here, make holes in it, <laughs> and get some glaze down inside too, because the glaze is the best part. And then back in the oven. And I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. Okay, um, I ended up leaving it in for 20 minutes. It just depends on how much glaze you put on it. Here it is. This is my tasty meatloaf. We're gonna have this for dinner with some green beans. Okay guys, and this is dinner. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and garlic green beans. See ya!